You are now entering the divine headquarters. What is up, fam? It's your big bro Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope y'all having a blessed and wonderful day. TGIF, if you're watching this on a Friday, if you're not, happy day. Uh, whatever day it is that you see this. Um, I want to welcome back to the channel my OGs. Thank y'all for your continued love and support. And first of all, thank everybody who've been uh, blessed me with the super chats, who've been blessing me with the uh, cash apps. Uh, just blessing me, period. You know, visiting the channel, sharing your awesome vibes, liking the videos, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you guys. And welcome to the channel. Any new people? I, I've been seeing a lot of new people around here, too. Welcome to the family. Thank you all for being here. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. hope you guys get some positive energies and something that's going to help you out on your journey. Uh, yeah. And welcome to the channel. Any new viewers? Other Well, if, you, if this is your first time <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time here today i'm gonna just uh wing it because um it's kind of late uh kind of late right now so i just i decided to jump on here let me do something you know for the friday you know what i'm saying so we can kick off friday right i'm also wishing everybody an awesome weekend okay um yeah let me move my little bells out of the way <clears throat> All right, you guys, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get on into it because my drums are far away from me right now. Uh, let me clear the energy. I don't want to make it too loud. <sighs> All right, you guys. We just gonna jump on into it. I got some just I'm just doing some random messages here and we're gonna see what comes out for the collective and see what y'all need to know. Uh let's start us off with <clears throat> let's start us off with a message from here. Let's see. We have prepare for the unexpected. Wow. So something ooh, so so some kind of um opportunity is coming for you. Okay. Spirit is telling y'all to prepare for the unexpected. This is something that you are not, you are, I'm hearing you're not banking on it, okay? You're not banking on, banking on this. It says opportunities are here for you. So Spirit wants you to be prepared and be ready and be open, okay? For the opportunities that are coming through for you or that has a potential to come through. For somebody here, somebody here might be popping off on um, Instagram or you might go viral on um, TikTok or YouTube or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing somebody here that you get in because we got the IG model. So I'm seeing that you get in more, um, more, I'm um, getting visibility, um, online. Some that you're doing is bringing you more attention. Somebody here may be getting ready to go viral or somebody's needing to put in, uh, more work into your, into your, uh, cause you may have to do this as a hobby or a side hustle or something like that. But spirit is telling you're going to put that work in and you're going to see the results from it. So somebody about to pop off in that way. I'm talking to somebody who could be an introvert. Maybe you're, you're really shy and you want to do it, but you're not really opening up. Or I'm hearing that you need to open up to your followers more or just put yourself out there more. Somebody here is getting ready to start or you have started a podcast. Okay. Because we got uh, broadcasting here it says develop your unique voice, then get your message out to your ideal audience. Consider starting a podcast or radio show. So somebody might be uh, let's say if you you were thinking about uh, starting a, um, a YouTube channel, doing the TikToks or posting there, Instagram, whatever it is, or even like it says, starting a podcast or radio show spirit is giving you the the green light i'm getting you get the green light to go ahead and do it because you're being backed right now you're being uh things will if you put in the work uh things will line up for you better than you thought okay we got muse it says take time away from the daily hustle give yourself quiet time in nature to muse create space for your creativity and fresh ideas will flow. So if some of y'all, if y'all been needing to get a, a fresh uh, perspective on like what you should create, what you should do, how you should present yourself, spend some time in nature or just spend some time alone, relax and, you know, try to calm yourself down. 
I'm getting that tension is kind of high doing this because ain't, ain't we in a, uh, a retrograde right now too? I think we are. I know I'll be, I'll be trying to stay oblivious, but <laughs> I get that uh, the energy might be a little high right now. So you're going to have to make sure that you're grounding yourself. Okay. Even the energy that I'm picking up right now in this reading is kind of like, I don't want to say chaotic. It's just like kind of wild. I'm picking up some wild energy. <laughs> I'm picking up some wow energy, yo. I don't know what that's about, but you guys are manifesting something with the magician here. I'm going to try to make sense of this wild energy because that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling kind of wild right now. That's what I'm feeling. And this reading might be all over the place, but we're going to try to get it together. Uh, the magician and you got queen of cups and then eight of swords. Spirit is telling you to, to calm yourself down. Somebody here might be being their own worst enemy. With the eight of swords, spirit is telling you to, to, to get grounded, right? I'm getting somebody here maybe dealing with a little anxiety, okay? That might be what that wild energy is. Or yeah, I'm getting somebody's anxiety might be heightened during this period, okay? And it might be kind of hard for you to, to think clearly, okay? To even speak clearly. So grounding and spending time alone journaling like writing your thoughts down journaling and stuff like that is going to be very very beneficial for you during this time get your emotions in check balance your emotions especially with the queen of cups i'm hearing don't be hard on yourself love on you this is a time where spirit is telling you to love on yourself right now tell yourself tell tell yourself that you love yourself when every day you wake up you know, tell yourself you're the greatest man alive, the greatest woman alive. You feel me? Big yourself up during this time. Also, be loving, compassionate, and gentle and kind with yourself, too. Don't beat yourself up because you couldn't achieve X, Y, Z, or you didn't perform in a certain kind of way. This is the time for you to just, you know, chill out and relax and, and cut yourself some slack is what I'm hearing. Cut yourself some slack. <clears throat> so I should have just called this like a grab bag reading because we just going, we just going pull out random messages and see what y'all need to hear. But yeah, I'm, I'm just getting chill out. Like, don't be somebody out there. It's like you, you want change so much or you're ready for change. You know, I heard so bad. Are you ready for a new beginning that you might be stressing yourself out or you might be putting too much pressure on yourself? Spirit is telling you to just, you know, take it one day at a time, one step at a time and things will work out. But you got to be patient and don't rush. OK, we got king of clubs. This talks about a stubborn person. Uh, you could be the stubborn person or there could be somebody you could be dealing with somebody. OK, this is a man or a masculine that's of integrity who is generous and a loyal friend. Okay, a dark haired, strong, older man could be, um, um, around you right now in your energy. What else we got? We got uh, six of diamonds. This talks about a breakup, bro. Maybe you're breaking up. Somebody here might be breaking up with a person. You might be breaking up with a person You might be breaking up with a person who's stubborn or you that that is hard for y'all to work together. It says there's a need to take financial responsibility over your budget, investments or debts, relationship trouble. So this is specifically and this is not to throw, you know what I'm saying, dirt on nobody or make nobody feel no kind of way. Spirit is telling somebody that. Whenever you're in a connection with somebody, even if you're living with them, if you're working, may have your own money. You feel me? Make sure that you, you, I'm hearing budget like you paying all the bills. Even if you're not paying all the bills, budget like that. And I'm getting put your household in, in, in um, put it in order is what I'm hearing. Somebody here might be going through some sort of some sort of breakup, though, with somebody and spirit wants you to have yourself together so that you don't you don't got to 
feel like you're depending on somebody else. We got King of Diamonds talks about a, a resourceful person. Talks about an accomplished older man of influence with light hair. But this could just be, um, you know, you, whether you're male or female. It talks about a powerful, successful person. <clears throat> this could be somebody could be attached. Somebody could have some sort of ending with somebody who fits this bill. OK, somebody could be stubborn. Somebody could be somebody who's powerful they like to be they like things to be in order this could be somebody with money or somebody with a good career or somebody just have their life in order is what i'm um, what i'm getting somebody here might have been depending on somebody else for your financial well-being spirit is telling you that you know you got to have your own too you feel me so nobody can't hold that over your head or if you feel if you feel somebody acting this hell, this could just be talking about your roommate if you got a roommate or something like that you know what i'm saying or if you're living with family or whatnot spirit is telling y'all if y'all got the means if you able body you know go go work and get your stack your coins have your money have have some sort of uh what is it called <clears throat> a safety net for yourself you always gotta have your own somebody here is meant to you might feel like you don't have that many options around you, but somebody might be about to start something online that's going to generate some money or or, or, or could be a possible um, extra source of income. Somebody's going to meet somebody online, too. OK, because I'm looking at Venus energy here. Love, beauty. All right. Yeah, it says don't give up. Somebody here might have been struggling, looking for a job. It says you're safe from harm. You got the shield around you. You are safe from harm. And then it also we got the sun. Your perseverance is, is going to be rewarded. You got love and prosperity coming to your life. See, I told you somebody's going to meet somebody. Love is coming into somebody's life here. We got love and prosperity with the queen. And then we got love. This is true love and, and fidelity. OK, the Sphinx says, choose your words wisely. OK, watch how you talking to people. Watch how you come off. This is specifically for people who are standoffish, who got that rest and be, you know, face and whatnot. Be careful that you don't scare off potential suitors, especially if you open for them. You want somebody to come into your life. But spirit is telling y'all not to give up. I'm, I'm about to shuffle this thing right here. And the first card on the top is lovers. <sighs> this we I don't I don't care what we do. OK. There's no escaping this love energy that I've been feeling all week. I've been feeling that all month, bro. Somebody specific is, is trying to enter into somebody's life, but you got to prepare yourself. You got to be ready for it. And I'm hearing that part of you is ready for it and wants it, but you know, you still got to do some, somebody still got to do some work and somebody's are already ready. You just got to like, you know, Put yourself out there and be receptive. We got the lover's energy here. Where is this reading going? <laughs> Where is this going? We, we, we got messages. Got a message for you, for you, for you and you. Everybody get a message. That's what this is. That's what the, the how this is vibing to me. <laughs> what is this? Poverty. You see what I'm talking about? I feel like somebody too also can meet somebody who can help you come help you balance out your. I just heard balance out your checkbook, but who's using checkbooks now? But balance out your your account, or help you with a new start. You having a new start that's gonna take you out of poverty for somebody. Am I even gonna post? Cause this this reading is just like all over the place. Am I even gonna post this, bro? <laughs> Spirit said, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Keep going. We got a marriage on the card show. It's something coming together for us. I'm telling y'all, it's something com coming together for somebody. I feel like somebody, if you're attached to people, places, and things that don't serve your highest good, they're getting ready to leave out your life. That's why we got this breakup energy. Anything or anyone who is not good for you and you know you need to let go, like people hanging on to you or you hanging on to people that you know you ain't got no life with, they're leaving out of your life. 
that's making way for this new energy to come in because we got marriage in it we got marriage here that's a new opportunity this could also be a business uh, uh opportunity for you as well lover's energy here love right here love and prosperity right here child somebody can meet somebody to where they is gonna have their first child or have a child with a, a new person or this is just a new beginning okay You got a new beginning with this joker here as well. And wealth. A wealthy new beginning. Meeting somebody with money or somebody who's very stable or a stable person, a resourceful person. This that energy that I pulled uh that I picked up last time, which talks about um it talked about having somebody who could come into who's come, gonna come into your life. And teach you about business, teach you about making money, teach you about building, you know, teach you about investments. Somebody with that type of energy that I'm picking up here, too. This is somebody who wants to like whether they're a friend, whether they're a lover, they want to see you win. You know, that's what Spirit said. And that's why I see what's happening. The unexpected is this new connection. You're not banking on this or, or somebody is not banking on this type of person to enter into their life. I'm getting for somebody. This this is this is like a the, a dream come true. But somebody's uh with this eight of swords. Somebody's nerves with the eight of swords. Somebody nerves might stop them from uh, pursuing this. Somebody's nerves might get them to reject this person. You know, or get reject this new beginning, whether it's a person or whether it's a, a, a actual opportunity itself. You know, like a job opportunity or something. Yeah, you breaking karma. Look at this. This who this person is right here. This breakup, this breakup is saying, because some of y'all have already broken up with people, places and things like you already ended the friendship. You already ended the relationship. But that energy is still on you like white on rice. That energy is still all up on you. You know what I'm saying? You can't really escape it. And that's why a lot of this past energy be coming up in these readings, because a lot of a lot of us still have people pulling on our, people from our past. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was a platonic familial, you don't deal with a certain family members no more, whether it was a friend or whether it was love or whatever. They still be pulling, be trying to stay attached. They still try to pull on their energy. And then, then we're talking about stragglers, people who you don't have nothing with are trying to pull on energies, too. So it's kind of like. You got all of these people, all of these hands in the pot. Everybody trying to get a piece. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what you gonna have for yourself? That's why spirit is like, yo, we need to intervene. I'm getting a divine intervention is taking place to separate yourself from these energies. That's why this karmic cycle is being broken. Is being is being uh, closed out right now. We got that you free to go. Karmic cycle ends. The spell is broken. Somebody may have had, somebody may have uh, did a binding ritual. Is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> somebody may have purposely held you back in some area of your life whether it was physically for somebody or what I'm, materially is what i'm picking up or whether it was energetically okay sometimes we can move on but then you got somebody all up in your energy and it's blocking you know it's kind of like i'm getting that somebody they were scent marking, spiritual scent marking. You feel me? Like, this is my territory. You feel me? You can't come in this area. Blocking people in the in the spiritual realms. Blocking them. And some of them was blocking people in the, in the physical. You know what I'm saying? But this is an indication right here that that is all being broken up. Spirit is telling you, don't give up on yourself. Don't be like, oh my God, well, everything's always, you know, nothing's, nothing's going right for me. I got, I, I got, I give up. Da, da, da. No, no. You've been through a tough time here with this poverty energy. You've been through a tough time. There's somebody who's trying to also, who's interfering with this energy, this reading right now, because they don't want you to see, they don't want you to see what you could potentially manifest or what you are manifesting they want you to be let me tell you something it's somebody somebody in the energy that's throwing illusions they throw in illusions they know that you're manifesting okay so they want to put put up the the illusion that you're not getting anywhere the illusion that you're stuck the illusion that you're stagnant the illusion that all your hard work ain't paying off like you're not getting nowhere you just 
running on a hamster wheel, you know, right, right? You're not going nowhere. You're doing all of this work, but you're not getting any, any results. But that's a lie. The lie detector said that that was a lie. You feel me? Comment down below if y'all ready to go. RTG one, two, three, baby. The lie detector said that that was a whole bold face lie. You're free to go. You are not stuck to this person. These are people who, who try to keep you in bondage, who try to keep you in chains, try to tell you that you will never amount to nothing, try to tell you that, oh, you, you, you will never be able to succeed without me. Yes, you will. Yes, you are. You already doing it. You feel me? <laughs> what? You already doing it. That's the thing. That's part of the illusion to trick your mind and make you think that you're not doing it when you're already doing it. You are the proof. You are the proof that you need. Look yourself in the mirror and see how far you've come. Without somebody, you feel me? We got uh, signs. Spirit is telling y'all to pay attention to this. Some of y'all could be seeing feathers. Pay attention to the signs. Some of y'all could be finding feathers. Uh, you could be uh, finding uh numbers you feel me if y'all seeing numbers see what the numbers mean to you you know what i'm saying uh there may be messages words triggering that trigger an emotion or um and some sort of inspiration with inside of you pay attention because your spirit team the universe god is communicating with you on a daily basis this is communication which which is affirming that your manifestation your work all, all the hard work that you're doing that's why spirit say your perseverance is rewarded. Everything that you're doing is actually working. You feel me? While somebody else is trying to man this somebody is trying to manipulate. They were manipulating the energy, trying to distort the energy so that you wouldn't see how far you've come. I'm seeing number six. Number six could be uh, significant to somebody. Number six represents balance between earth and spirit, right? Heaven and earth. You using your intuition or having access access to your intuition. You are embarking on a brand new journey right now. And we got the bear spirit here too. I'm going to read those in a second, but back to number six. Number six also talks about love. This is that platonic love and this is also that romantic love as well. It talks about bringing more harmony and balance into your life. It talks about you healing yourself and you being healed. You feel me? It talks about you manifesting and bringing in soulmates. It's talking about you joining the right groups, people who are of your soul, tribe, your soul, family, right? This is you becoming more visible. I'm specifically, it's a message here for somebody who's an introvert. You so shy. You don't like being around other people. I can relate to that. You feel me? And it's not like you that you got a problem with them. It's that that's just your nature, your character, right? You're an introvert. You're shy. Or you, you just feel more comfortable staying by yourself. And a lot of times when you by yourself, it's less drama. You feel me? Especially when you're not connecting with the right people. So I'm getting... People may have looked at you like, oh my God, there's something wrong with you. Why you why why you don't talk? Why you don't be in why you don't be in the street? Why you don't da -da -da -da? part of that really worked in your favor to keep you keep people out your business, keep people out your energy. Look at this, y'all. Soul tribe, baby. This that soul tribe energy. You are manifesting what's coming in. And I'm hearing out with the old and with the new. You leave it behind them rags and you moving towards the riches baby somebody moving towards the riches yo comment down below if y'all ready to go who out there comment down below rtg123 if you're moving from rags to riches baby and however however that looks however you want to show up in your life comment down below rtg123 let me know you're ready to go yeah you're vibing with your soul tribe people who accept you for who you are people who understand who you are your own group your soulmates that's why i said number six energy this is that confirmation right here you're moving on up moving on up like george and wheezy you feel me somebody might maybe about to move into a deluxe apartment in the sky ha, ha, ha. you might be moving moving on up you feel me in life in general we have journey spirit is telling you you are embarking on a brand fresh spanking new journey for yourself move with courage 
All right. Don't be scared. That's that new opportunity. Prepare for the unexpected. A door that's been closed is about to open up for you out the blue. OK, I'm hearing supernatural blessings. It's coming raining down on your life. You feel me? A door that's been closed, a pathway that's been not that's, that you haven't seen before is about to come out the blue. That's why spirit wants you to be ready, be grounded and ready to go. You feel me? Bear spirit. The bear spirit is telling you to have an open mind. Open mind. OK, don't be so fixated on having things go a certain kind of way and look a certain kind of way. Have an open mind about what you can receive and achieve in life because you might have a certain thing mapped out in your mind that you wanted to go a certain kind of way, but God might have a different thing set, a different pathway that's set up for you. Nurture yourself. Stand up for you. All right. That's what that bear spirit is representing here in this reading. What else we got here? We got spiritual abilities. Use your spiritual abilities, baby. You feel me? Use your spiritual abilities. You have spiritual gifts. Somebody, somebody out there also, you are being... <clears throat> Initiated. I'm getting magician. Initiated. High priest is number two. Number one. Number two. Number zero. Number one. Number two. So that's progression. And it's moving towards abundance. That zero is that new beginning. That magician number one is you setting your intentions. Okay. That number two is you trusting your intuition and, and, and taking that divinely guided action when you get them downloads. And number three is you being abundant. All right. You bring all that to life. You bring all all that to uh, fruition. And then and it says by you not giving up on yourself, depending on where you are on the timeline, your perseverance is being rewarded. Yeah. You guys are knowing that these gifts and the abilities that you have are not only meant for you, but they're meant to elevate and help the collective as well. We are understanding that we are a part of a tribe, that we're a part of a whole group. You feel me that we are one. You feel me? And that we are building together, working together. Making the dream. I, heard, I just heard a dream team, the dream team. What is this right here? Butterfly spirit. We got the butterfly spirit, which talks about change. Number five energy. Number five energy also talks about adventure. And what is that adventure? That's the journey that you're about to go on. It is something new. It's a new. I'm telling you, supernatural blessings is raining down on your life. There's a new pathway that's opening up for you. OK, I heard today. I heard today. I just heard that loud and clear today. And in Mars energy, action talks about action, right? Taking action towards your desires. A new pathway is opening up for you today. But you got to move through that door with courage. You're going through a transformation. Spirit wants you to think positive, right? Try to temper your uh, energies, balance your energies out, have hope for the future. You feel me? Future moment. Your future is what's taking place right now is uh, putting together something beautiful for you in the future, right? Right now, number 18, moon energy. It's something that remains a secret from you right now. That's why spirit wants you to be in this bare spirit energy right here by keeping an open mind. Because something is, is about to pop off for you. Something is popping off for you right now. That's in alignment with number 17 star energy. Your dreams, your hopes, what you want to manifest, right? Some of y'all may be able to use crystals to help you. Crystals can amplify your intentions that you send out, right? And also, they can help balance your energies out too, right? You, Spirit's telling you how to find your own oasis, your internal peace. Maintain an internal peace. Protect your energy, right? Create a, a serene environment ab uh, around you. And that also, it tells you to be selective with your partnerships. If they have not, if they, if, if, if they ain't of your soul tribe, then you got to let it ride. You feel me? <laughs> What the fuck? If they ain't of your soul tribe, then you got to let it slide. You feel me? Y'all comment down below if y'all ready to go, baby. RTG, one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You about to make contact with your soul tribe, baby. I'm talking about people who are starcy. I'm talking about heavy starcy. I'm telling yo, 
this show communities. I'm talking to somebody. I'm, I'm picking up on somebody out there. You, you, you may be like, yo, I'm not from here. I'm weird. I'm da 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 da. da. But yeah, you, you know, I'm, t- I'm talking about weird as in good. You feel me? There's something unique about you, something special about you. You know what I'm saying? And now you're about to. Some of y'all have. You consider yourself quirky, or you consider yourself, you know, eccentric. You know what I'm saying? Different from the rest. You about to find people who's just like you, yeah. Just like you, you about to make contact. Some of y'all is also about to make contact with otherworldly beings, ETs, um, because your frequencies, you getting on that right frequency and y'all going to be able to, if y'all not being able, been able to channel before, I'm talking to people who are being initiated and being able to uh, tap into them channeling gifts and abilities because your spiritual gifts and abilities are being heightened and being activated. I'm hearing DNA activation right now. You feel me? Yeah. That's why the family's coming together. That's why the soul tribe coming together. People out here being activated left and right, waking up. You feel me? Yeah. And you know what's for you, know what's not for you. We got the horse spirit as well here. This talks about freedom, heroism. You out here saving lives, baby. You feel me? You're going to be successful. You are successful. And this is for you having courage. All right. And being able to walk on the path that you're meant to walk on without worrying about what anybody else is going to say, what they're going to do. Number four energy here. We talked about stability, being grounded, being calm, creating a solid foundation for yourself. Right. Taking a realistic approach to your situation. Number four in tarot is emperor energy, too. This is you coming out on top. You mastering your skills, mastering who you are as an individual. So that nobody could try to put a label on you that don't apply. Nobody could tell you who you are. You know who you are. You feel me? We got the angelic touch. Y'all being visited by angels right now as well. Your angel, your angel guides, your spirit team is all around you right now. Somebody right here is, is in need of a healing and you about to get that healing. Somebody here right now is about to be touched. Touched. Okay, I see hands lay on them while you're sleeping by the angels. You feel me? This is visitation, and I'm getting visitation during nighttime. You feel me? While you're sleeping, <clears throat> y'all may be uh, having the uh, tapping into this cat spirit as well, which talks about being independent. We're back again on that uh, adventure, right? Tapping into your mystical abilities, right? Which is opening up to, you, to supernatural blessing. I'm telling you, somebody right here about to get a significant. I, I keep hearing that supernatural blessings. Somebody about to tap into a significant supernatural blessing in your life. If that's you, comment down below and ready to go. RTG, one, two, three, baby. Don't sleep on your skills. Don't, do not sleep on your skills, baby. Those spiritual gifts and abilities is heightened. They, I'm, I'm hearing... If they've been closed and been closed off, now the door is about to be kicked off of it. You feel me? Yeah. Mir a miracle is about to pop off for somebody here. An unexpected event. What do we say right here? When we first started, what do we say? Prepare for the unexpected. Opportunities are here for you. You see how this is uh, aligning. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities that you come across. You came across this reading for a reason. You didn't just show up here for nothing out of the blue. Right? And if you're still here listening, you damn sure in the right place. You feel me? You're about to get a miracle, a surprise. This is a divine. Like I said, a supernatural blessing is on the table for you. You feel me? Supernatural blessing. Like I said, somebody about to pop off your, uh, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> What's, what do I say? Your podcast or your YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is. Whatever you do, I just heard TikTok. You don't stop. <laughs> Somebody might sing, but I'm hearing the time. The time is now. TikTok. You don't stop. What's that? What is that song? To the all. Oh, TikTok. You don't stop. Hear it. Ooh. <laughs> I'm hearing. I wanna sex you up. Yo, it's somebody like TikTok. You don't stop. I'm about to hit you up. On another. On another note. Y'all know, y'all know we be channeling in these songs. We channel the songs. On another note, there's somebody who wants to get with you. It's people. I'm getting Queen of Wands energy. Even well, yeah, whether you're male or female, there's people that find you sexy right now, yo. Yeah, Tiger Spirit. 
just when I talk about sex, sexy, and I talked about earlier about the emperor energy, about you mastering your skills and your gifts and whatnot, Tiger Spirit talks about mastery as well. Honing and, and, and accepting and, and I'm just hearing like reveling in your beauty. And your majesty is what I'm getting. Also setting boundaries for yourself, healthy boundaries for yourself, because you cannot be letting everybody have access to your energy. Being disciplined, right? I'm getting for somebody avoiding trauma because I, I just saw that. I just saw that on the bottom of this deck right here. I saw it. And it was meant for it was meant for me to give that message to y'all. Y'all see how like what spirit say? No, I need you to I need you to tell them this, okay? Explore your ancestral history. There's a somebody here, you're being advised to explore your ancestry, right? There's a lot of things that we find out about an ancestry that we didn't even know. I, I made a mistake and found out that I have uh, other roots in another country that I didn't even, even didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you never know what you can find there. for somebody. There's there's going to be some sort of realization. I, I, I'm getting this. It's, it's a certain kind of pride when you know where you're from. You feel me? So explore. And, then, and I'm getting that somebody's going to find some sort of gift. OK, are you going to find out who you came from? You feel me that y'all came from a long line of spiritual. Uh, oh, I just heard spiritual beings. What? What is that? Is it is, is this cosmic ancestry as well for somebody here too? cosmic ancestry too? also your bloodline that you come from a line of gifted individuals? I just heard you ain't regular. You feel me? You're not regular. Save yourself from new trauma. This is you setting them boundaries and being disciplined. Like when you know somebody, oh my God, this thing looks so tempting. Oh my God, this thing looks so, it looks so good. And this is like you got a, a juicy, I don't even eat beef, I'm just saying. <laughs> no offense to anybody who eats beef, but I'm just, I just, I'm just saying. If you see somebody, you, this juicy steak, I mean that they look, they, for those who eat beef, that juicy steak or whatever you eat is looking good, it's looking right. And Spirit's telling you, don't, don't, don't eat that. Don't touch it. But you like, yo, but it smells so good. Don't do it. That's not for you. Leave it for somebody. <laughs> Leave it for somebody else. But that's not for you. But it, it looks so good. It's sizzling in the pan and it's calling my name. The juices is flowing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It pairs very well with these veggies and da da da. But this wine and, you know, I want it. And it, it could look so appealing. I'm being uh, metaphorical right now, you guys. It looks so appealing. And then you find out <laughs> that it was cooked in poison. And had you not listened to your intuition, had you not been disciplined, you would have went ahead and ate that steak or ate whatever that was. And you would be suffering from whatever whatever uh, poison that was that it was cooked in. You feel me? Listen that's for somebody specific. There was a reason why I, while I, while that off the wall. <laughs> why there was a reason why the off the wall metaphor came into my head. Somebody going to be presented with something that looks enticing. It could be a person that looks scrum deliumptious. It could be whatever an opportunity that looks. And I just saw I just looking at number two partnerships. Yep. Somebody could be a partnership, could be a friendship, lover, whatever it is that looks scrum dilly um, shit, So I got to have it right. I want it all and I want it now. Like I want it now. <laughs> I just heard, I've been waiting for a girl like you. Somebody's like, oh my God, you're the one I've been waiting for. You what I've been waiting for. But mm -mm. that girl is poison can't trust the big button to smile that girl yo it's like don't do it don't take action on your dreams it says take action on it take action on your dreams y'all some of us have lost parts of ourselves throughout the years throughout this lifetime throughout the past lifetime and the, those soul fragments that we lost are coming back together this is soul fragment 
reunion. Putting the pieces back together, making yourself whole, knowing that you don't need another man, another woman to make you whole. You're, you're whole within yourself. And if you are meant to come with another person, you come to that person whole. You feel me? A lot of us is realizing that. Realizing that nobody can't give you what you can't give yourself. And if you want something, you're going to give it to yourself first. And then, you know, somebody, somebody else want to give you something, that's cool. You feel me? But you're not going to depend on nobody. This is the second time we came across spiritual gifts. I'm telling y'all, somebody here going through a spiritual gift activation. This is your build abilities, supernatural. This is your con uh, connection. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Your spiritual gifts and your spiritual abilities. Bubbles. This talks about, again, you stand in your own bubble. In your protective space. Don't let nobody, don't let them, tell them get up out your bubble. Don't, don't let nobody just be all up in your business and trying to, and trying to see what you're doing. Or trying to infringe on your free will or infringe on your oasis. That you set for yourself you feel me nah this is you you set your own you you have your own set of boundaries that's that, that's what you go by you feel me i got my own set of boundaries jill got her own set of boundaries you know what i'm saying uh who else <laughs> i can't think of names. i can't think of names i just heard jill jill you got your own boundaries you feel me uh abigail got her own boundaries you feel me jock kim got his own boundaries you feel me? Thomas got his own boundaries. We all have our own own boundaries and morals. You feel me? You have to go with what what's for you, not what somebody else tells you that you need to do. It's what 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 are you? What you know? How is y'all know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm saying? What do you what do you think is right for you? That's what you need to 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 uh to stand by. You feel me? Somebody trying, especially when it comes to people try to stand by you, make sure that you're, you're only you're vetting people out and you're only um, partnering with people who you resonate with. Right. I was going to try to pick, find that soul tribe card. What time is it? OK. Empath. Somebody here like be careful with picking up on too much energy. Yeah. yeah you guys are a vibrational sponge right now. I'm talking to an empath. You're a vibrational sponge right now. So you might be picking up a little extra energy right now so things might get a little hectic it's getting it's getting it's getting kind of heavy it's getting kind of you know it, you want to know why it's getting kind of heavy because you got the power you got the power right now baby you feel me so your gifts are amplifying so that's why you got to make time to, to, to spend time on your own you know what i'm saying to to clear out the energy because things might get a little hectic things might be a little overwhelming you know you, your anxiety might be turned up you know what I'm saying? Everything might be turned up, but you got to know that, you know, uh, take some time to yourself. There's a window. This is that window of opportunity that's coming through. Like we said, prepare for the unexpected. I'm telling y'all, unexpected window of opportunity is about to pop open for y'all. You feel me? We got Dolphin Spirit, which talks about peace. This is bringing in more peace. This window of opportunity is bringing in more peace. It's bringing in more harmony, right? More compassion for yourself. More compassion in life. So Spirit is telling y'all to go easy on yourself. Explore the unlimited possibilities that you have, but do that within within reason. Still keep your boundaries in place and keep your plans secret. Don't be telling everybody your business. Don't be telling everybody what moves you about to make. We talked about that on another reading too. Number 57, it says, keep your plans and goals to yourself. Someone, someone around you may be envious and jealous of your accomplishments. To keep people from directing a negative energy towards your plans, keep your goals and plans a secret. When you achieve them, then they will know. I always tell y'all that. I tell y'all that all the time. It's like, don't be telling everybody. It's like we were talking about yesterday. It's like, don't be telling the killer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't be tipping the killer off and let you know what was going on before you get evidence to the police. You feel me? It's like keep your stuff to yourself. A lot of y'all had dreams. And then if you tell the wrong people, those are dream killers. They're like they 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 trash the energy. We got panic. Number 49. It says don't panic when change happens. I feel like this window of opportunity is going to be change that might make some people feel uncomfortable. 
because it's, 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 it's not the norm. It's, it's, it's something brand new for yourself and it might make you feel uncomfortable, but it's like, this is for your own. I just heard this for your own well being. But this is a positive, like, it's like y'all having a tire moment, but this tire moment is, 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 is bringing in good things. You feel me? It's like a good tire moment. Not like when the ones like, oh my God, my life is over. It's not one of them. You feel me? Um, number 13, death is a, a transition. Things are transforming for you because we did get the butterfly spirit. So you're going through a beautiful transformation is what I'm getting. Sit back and allow yourself to calm down so that you can get a good grasp on things. You might find that this change works out to your advantage. Sometimes change is exactly what you need. So go with the flow. We got mistakes. Number 71, it says we all make mistakes. Whether it's making the wrong choice, going down the wrong path, connecting with the wrong person, etc. Do not beat yourself up about it. These are opportunities for growth that teach you more about yourself. With every mistake you know, what works for you and what does not. You see, you see what I'm talking about? It's like when you when you go through things. And you make mistakes and something doesn't work out to uh, uh, how you planned it to work out or how you expected or wanted it to work out. It's a learning opportunity. It's a teaching moment for yourself. You can't like overlook that. Right. That's why I'm saying you got to have compassion for yourself and not beat yourself up. And be like, Oh, my God. Why did I do that? Yeah. But 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 uh, get it back in check and say, you know what? Well, now I know. Now I know this. Now I know that. You know, now I know what not to do. Now I know what to do. Now I, you know what I'm saying? You you learn something new. You're no longer that same person who you were before you experienced XYZ. Now you know that experience and now you know what to do moving forward or what not to do moving forward. Okay. It says these are opportunities for growth that teach you more about yourself. With every mistake, you know what works for you and what does not. Don't beat yourself up for living and experiencing life because it's all a part of life okay you live experience and learn now you know what not to do that's number 71 here okay what else do i got for y'all i think we got the message here we got the message for y'all hopefully y'all got something you know y'all got something uh from this that that's helping you on your day and knowing that, yo, somebody about to, you know, this window of opportunity, yo, I low key want to be like, yo, uh, once it pop pop off for you, let me know what what's what's popping off, cause there's some major energy here, right? Smart baby, you make awesome effing decisions, even your mistakes. You see what I'm talking about, people? We're talking about making mistakes and the fact that it's okay to make mistakes. As long as you don't keep making them same mistakes over and 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 over. As long as you don't keep doing that, then you cool. You good. You feel me? You make awesome effing decisions. Even your mistakes are awesome decisions because they lead you to learn more about yourself and experience brand new things. You see what I'm talking about? That's the theme. Spirit heavily wants you to know. Look, look, home girl. Look, home boy. It's okay to make mistakes. It is all right. It is okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. Now you know how to move going forward. Okay. Lover. You're so effing love. People love you, yo. You know what I'm saying? People just love and adore you so effing much. We wouldn't have it any other way. So go out into the world and get to receiving and giving all the love you want and need. I see what I'm talking about. Why I'm, ta I'm talking about that love vibration. Picking up that love vibration. We have so much love in this reading, baby. We have so much love in here. I need you to tap into it. I need you to get something. Come and get your love. Yo, come and get your love. The perfect fit. <laughs> somebody about to. Somebody, but y'all about y'all y'all drawing in. Y'all y'all pulling in the perfect match for you, baby. The perfect match for you. Opposites attract, but so does like. Either way, make sure the vibes are mutual. The vibes got to match. We don't do that out of balance ish. No one has time for letting headaches into our lives. Yes, you're attracting people into your life. Yes, you're manifesting new people. But that doesn't mean that every single person that you come across that you got to bring into your life. We're not doing none of that. You feel me? You you have the right to pick and choose who you want in your life. You know, who you, it's like. 
people trying to force themselves into your life. Be careful of people like that, that, that want to tell you, oh, you my soulmate. Oh, you my da 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 No, you're not. If you don't feel it, they're not. Keep moving. You feel me? Because the one for you, you're going, you know what I'm saying? You're going to feel something. <laughs> it ain't going to be, it's not going to be repulsed. You know, you're not going to be repulsed. If you're repulsed by somebody, you know that's not your person. You feel me? It doesn't matter what they say, what they do. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and I just heard it don't matter how much cash they throw at you either. You feel me? It's like, if you're repulsed, you're repulsed. It is what it is, you know? Safe and sound. Relax. You're safe to go out and explore the world. You don't have to be afraid of being hurt. You're strong enough to protect yourself against any dangers and able to make wise decisions. <laughs> Y'all see that? Y'all see that, right? The boss. You're the mother. You're the boss. The party ain't over till you say it's over. Keep living your best life. It's what the F you say. At the end of the day, do what you want, when you want, as long as you're not hurting yourself or anybody else. You are the boss. It's what you want to do. It's what you say. You feel me? And you don't forget that you're the star of the show, baby. Let's get one thing straight. I'm forgiving you for me. <laughs> I'm forgiving you for me. You feel me? It says, let's get one thing straight. I'm forgiving you for me. I'm the MF star of this show. I don't give up about how you feel about this. I choose to forgive, heal, let go, and be free. It's show time. Allow yourself to step into that energy. Allow the energy to permeate into your soul, to your very essence. You're forgiving people. You're healing. You're letting go. And you're allowing yourself to be free, just like the horse spirit talked about. You're allowing yourself to be free. I know I got a mountain of cards right here, but here we go. You're allowing yourself to be free. And by you embodying that freedom, you you are uh, inspiring other people. Because we got heroism here, too. You're inspiring other people to go out and be free as well. And break the chains from the past. And you're... Moving towards a victory for yourself, okay? That's what I got for this reading, y'all. If y'all like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like to see more. And if this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you guys feel about it, okay? Much love and light to everybody out there. Fafitai tele lava. Mahalo. Obrigado. Ciao.